Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 Connect plugin and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you how the Quick owner would be able to uh, easily create the sales receipts of his uh, store at the QuickBooks that is done manually as well as automatically. Apart from that uh, we'll be showing you how all the information related to the orders such as the customer name, email address, items ordered, billing address etc are synchronized with the store owner's QuickBook account and uh, as uh, it's for the uh, customers so is it for the guests as well so basically the guest orders are also uh, synchronized and uh, to make use of this particular plugin uh, you need to get the API credentials uh, that are the OAuth uh, customer key, OAuth token secret and the OAuth consumer secret so right now uh, the plugin supports uh, one-way synchronization that is from uh, Magento to Web Store to the uh, QuickBooks uh, accounting software and uh, it is also fully compatible with the QuickBooks online as well. So uh, we'll now go ahead and uh, we'll be seeing how the uh, Web Store admin would be able to set up the QuickBooks uh, Connect uh, uh, accounting software within his uh, backend panel and how he can map the sales receipts, map credit memo and uh, make the initial configurations for uh, basically integrating it uh, with the uh, Magento 2 store that's the uh, QuickBook Connect and uh, now let's get ahead and let's see uh, basically how the uh, Magento uh, Connect configuration uh, can be done initially by the uh, web store owner so for that I uh, just need to log into your admin backend panel for your Magento 2 web store thereafter you'll see uh, a Connect uh, QB uh, option on the side panel of the admin so basically after you successfully install this particular plugin then this uh, quickbook connect option uh, would be available at the uh, side panel and here we have three different uh, uh, sections one is uh, for the map sales receipt the other one is for map credit memo and the configuration you can reach the configuration from uh, stores and then uh, configuration and then under the web code block you'll find the uh, connect configuration otherwise you can directly tap here on the configuration uh, sub menu option to bring up the uh, configuration page uh, that's the initial configuration for the quickbook connect so let me tap or let me open that up in another window and uh, here we are on the uh, configuration page as you can see and on the left hand side under the web code block we have the magento quickbooks connect as you can see and uh, under that uh, basically we are having fewer uh, settings that need to be set up so here we have the general settings then we have the accounts for the inventory then we have the export product fields and the notification for synchronizing the tax rates so we'll go through each of these options one by one so let's see what options are there under the general settings so basically you'll be able to enable or disable by choosing a yes or a no according to your requirement and uh, that will enable this particular Magento QuickBooks Connect functionality within your Magento 2 web store. Thereafter you have the option that is sale receipt create on. So from three options here you will be able to choose when to create the sales receipt. So whenever uh, an order is complete at that time do you want to create the sales receipt or at the time of order place or at the time of the invoice create. So for now we'll uh, be showing how to uh, uh, generate the sales receipt automatically uh, at uh, the uh, order place uh, thing uh, within the Magento 2 store so whenever a customer places an order at that time a sales receipt gets created automatically and that would then be visible under here uh, that's the map sales receipt uh, thereafter we have the initial order status for the sales receipt so uh, here you need to set up the Magento order status for uh, creating the sales receipt using the export order as sales receipt button so uh, you can set up the uh, initial order status for your sales receipt as a pending processing or complete depending upon your requirement. Thereafter you need to uh, identify your account whether it's in the USA or non-USA. So for the is US store you can choose a yes or a no. If it's not in the US then you can choose a no otherwise choose yes for this particular option. Then you need to set up the app integrates with. Uh, so here you have two different options. Uh, for the uh, integration uh, security as well that's the OAuth 1 and 2 you can choose OAuth 2 that's the latest one then you have the account type so you can choose it as a development or production mode 
so the account type is basically do you want to run this particular uh, functionality uh, within a live uh, server then choose a development otherwise for testing purposes you can choose the production mode then we have the client ID and the client secret and uh, then we have this QuickBook connect button so the client ID and the client secret can easily be uh, generated so uh, let me show you that within the user guide and you can also go to the user guide that I have uh, mentioned in the description below for a complete uh, better understanding of this uh, configuration section and the other parts as well so uh, let me take you to the user guide first so how to get the QuickBooks API credentials uh, for the OAuth 2 so you need to navigate to the HTTPS developer.intuit.com and uh, there you will be uh, using uh, that particular form to sign up or uh, you can create a new uh, account there and uh, after creating a new account uh, on the registration page uh, you'll be logged into your account and uh, there you need to cre uh, create a QuickBook uh, app so you'll be navigating to the my app section and uh, then you just need to create an app and then you need to uh, select a pop-up uh, on your screen uh, for creating uh, the app and you will be choosing the platform that you want to develop for that's the QuickBook online and payments and uh, after that uh, you'll give your application a name what's the name as you can see here and select the scope of the uh, application as accounting accounting and then click on the create uh, uh, app button so after creating the application you'll find on the left hand side of the uh, application page the keys and OAuth and tapping that up brings up your uh, keys so if you're uh, using the application in the sandbox mode then you can make use of the uh, uh, development key if you're using it in the live mode then you can make use of the uh, production keys and uh, then you can configure the keys with your Magento 2 web store and uh, you can also go to the keys uh, section where you'll, you'll be able to find your client ID and the client secret and then you need to copy these two uh, uh, keys uh, within the admin backend panel configuration for this particular uh, product also you must uh, set the redirect URL to set the URL URL you just need to click on the add URL link as you can see and uh, then you need to enter the redirect URL and then you'll have to just save that up as you can see here we have the redirect URLs and uh, you just need to set it as uh, as you can see here the uh, webs, uh, website then uh, QuickBooks Connect OAuth OAuth 2 so that was how you can get your client ID client secret and the other values now let's go back to the configuration so you need to uh, enter the client ID and the client secret thereafter and uh, I'll tell you how we can connect with the QuickBooks uh, so for that we'll just set up all the uh, all the uh, settings here and then we'll tap on the save configuration to save all of the configuration settings and thereafter we can tap here on the connect button to connect uh, to our QuickBooks account uh, so uh, let's go to the accounts for inventory and uh, for here you just need to uh, choose the accounts for each of the uh, inventory so inventory other asset uh, account you need to get list uh, basically uh, the list would uh, be uh, uh, gathered just after the authentication so uh, you just need to set it as get list after authentication and same goes with the income account and the expense account for more details you can just check these uh, data here for them and uh, or the user guide that we have attached and uh, thereafter we have the export free, uh, product field so from here you can choose the uh, quickbooks product name uh, whether you want to choose the to set the store product name or the store product SKU for the uh, quickbook products and uh, here you can see that we have the QuickBooks product description whether you want to set the description as it is on the uh, stro store product uh, name uh, so, sorry the store product description or the store product short description and lastly you can set up uh, the notifications for the uh, synchronization of the tax rates and here you need to create uh, different uh, tax rates on uh, the uh, account application for syncing the tax details with the order so we have set it as uh, US and India along with the tax uh, tax rates so after configuring all these settings you just need to tap here on the save configuration and then you can tap here on the uh, QuickBook connect button and this would bring up this uh, pop-up wherein we'll be entering our username and password for our QuickBooks accounting software and we just need to log into our account at the QuickBooks thereafter 
so here you can see that uh, we're on the uh, Intuit uh, sign-in uh, page right now so you just need to enter your email ID or the user ID that you've uh, entered while creating an account at the QuickBooks and the password for the same thereafter you just need to tap here on the sign in button and this will authenticate your credentials and log you in uh, within the uh, QuickBooks account uh, there and then you'll see this uh, going uh, this button is uh, shown then in the green color so that's how you can set up the general settings and connect to your uh, QuickBooks account by tapping here on the uh, QuickBook connect button now let's check what different options are there under the uh, connect so uh, let's go to the map sales receipt and the map credit memo so uh, under the map sales receipt uh, here basically you will be able to find uh, all of the orders basically that have been uh, placed within your merchant to do web store and uh, and basically from this section the uh, admin can map the sales receipt to the quickbooks and uh, before proceeding further with the, these two options that is the uh, map sales receipt and the map credit memo uh, let's see how to synchronize the orders manually and automatically so for that uh, if you see here we have the sales receipt create on order place invoice create and the order uh, complete so uh, basically uh, in 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 this uh, for example if we have uh, chosen the order place uh, then what happens is that the uh, sales receipt is created on the QuickBooks at the time of order place and then all of the orders uh, when uh, placed in your store would be getting synchronized with the QuickBooks automatically and similarly if the admin has uh, selected the uh, sales receipt create on invoice uh, create then whenever the admin creates the invoice for the orders the orders will get synchronized automatically and same is the case for the order complete the order will uh, the orders will get synchronized with the quickbooks whenever the status of the order turns to order complete that is invoice and shipping have been generated so uh, that's how uh, the invoice would be generated at uh, the uh, quickbooks automatically so for that you just need to choose the sales receipt create an option in the general settings and uh, let's go back and uh, now let's see how we can uh, uh, basically manually uh, create the sales receipt so basically uh, using the uh, manual sync you'll be able to synchronize the already placed orders within your store that were not uh, synchronized with the quickbooks before as well so uh, to add the orders into the quickbooks manually the admin just needs to uh, navigate through uh, uh, sales and then orders and uh, and on the orders page uh, the admin uh, just needs uh, to uh, find the complete list in a grid view of the orders placed on the website uh, with different order styles like pending closed and uh, as you can see we have pending closed and pending uh, statuses and now uh, to manually synchronize uh, this uh, data uh, with the quickbooks the admin will uh, select the desired order and uh, for example if we choose this particular order and uh, from the actions drop down we can choose export on a quickbook option if i type that up uh, and this pop-up comes up whether you want to export the ex, uh, export the uh, selected orders on the quickbooks as sale receipt and here you can see you can see the number of records that we have selected if uh, we select two orders and we check export on uh, quickbooks then you'll be able to see uh, uh, export selected orders on quickbooks as sales receipt and here you can see that we have two records thereafter you just need to tap here on the ok button and then you'll be able to see the uh, exporting orders are in process and uh, thereafter now uh, under the map credit memo here you can see that we have all the orders uh, basically visible and from here the uh, admin uh, can basically uh, see the list of synced or mapped orders of your store uh, with the quickbooks and uh, from here as well the uh, web store owner would be able to uh, delete the order map records or you can also export the orders as a sales receipt so this can be done manually as well so if we tap here on the export orders and sales receipt so uh, using uh, the map uh, using the option that's the uh, map credit memo uh, basically you'll be able to sync the already placed uh, orders within your store that were placed before installing the extension as well and the admin can also delete the order map records if required and uh, now if I go back to the map credit uh, memo section I just forgot one thing 
so basically uh, from here as I've already told that uh, the admin can manually synchronize this data that is here within this section then you just need to tap here on the export orders as uh, sales receipt and uh, this time all of the orders that have this status as selected during the uh, configuration uh, settings let me take back okay so uh, if you remember we were uh, talking about the configuration wherein the uh, admin would be able to set the uh, status of the orders when they are exported uh, as sales receipt to QuickBooks and according to that uh, the orders uh, that have that particular uh, status as uh, under here under the status column then uh, those uh, orders would be uh, exported as sales receipt uh, to the QuickBooks itself so basically you can uh, select uh, from the three order status that's uh, pending processing and uh, complete if you select pending then all of the orders with the status pending will be synchronized and uh, similarly the case goes for the rest of the uh, orders as well and uh, the uh, admin can also uh, check the orders by tapping here on the wave order link under the actions uh, column and uh, that brings up the uh, complete details of the order that has been placed within the web store and uh, thereafter the admin just needs to uh, navigate to the uh, quickbooks and log in there and thereafter the uh, admin would be able to see the uh, orders uh, being synced at the uh, quickbooks itself so here you can see that we have the order details as you can see with the uh, with complete details here now uh, uh, the admin just needs to go to his uh, quickbooks account and there he'll be able to uh, check under the sales uh, the order details uh, or the orders that have been synchronized with the QuickBooks itself and uh, after tapping the order number uh, basically uh, the admin will be able to uh, see the complete order details that have been synchronized like the customer name address payment method that he had used and uh, the order details and the taxes uh, levied on uh, the uh, product are also visible within the sales receipt as you can see here and uh, you can see the that the tax is 8.37 percent here and uh, as uh, we have already shown you how to create the uh, taxes within the configuration settings so uh, you also need to create the uh, same taxes uh, within the quickbooks as well so uh, that was much about the imagine to do connect plugin and i hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of this particular plugin uh, wherein you'll be able to synchronize your uh, Magento 2 web so orders with the QuickBooks accounting software so that uh, uh, the uh, order related details uh, are synchronized with the Qu QuickBooks therefore and uh, allowing you to better manage the uh, store accounting data more effectively and uh, the best part is uh, that uh, these two orders are synchronized on the QuickBooks so that are manually and automatically so if you still have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead